Hi, it's Sienna, and today I want to talk to you about how to adopt a doggy. So this is Leroy. He's about six years old, we're not too sure, and he's some sort of Shih Tzu Lasso Opso mix. So he's a male, obviously, and he's about 22 pounds. He's a funny little fella, a little bit clumsy, a little bit moody, but we love him. I adopted Leroy about a year and a half ago. I've never had a dog growing up and I told myself that as soon as I was old enough I was going to adopt my own dog and I did. And so this is actually the second dog that I've adopted. I had another little Shih Tzu, Trudy, who unfortunately passed. I'm going to talk to you today about what to expect and what to go through and how to go about looking for a dog to adopt. You should consider adopting because one, there's plenty of dogs that need homes and are at risk of being euthanized and so before you reach out to a breeder and pay these premium prices, you might want to consider adopting because of the cost as well and the fact that there's some really good dogs out there that you shouldn't forget about. And it's also a way to fight puppy mills. Fight the puppy mills! And also by adopting, you kind of save yourself the trouble of having to housebreak them or to train them because some of them might have already been trained or they could be older so you don't have to start from a puppy necessarily. You could adopt one that's, you know, mid-life or a senior. So the best way to start looking for a doggy is by visiting your local animal shelters. They, you can go in person or online. They have websites and they post the dogs that come in daily. The other thing is you can try local rescue groups. They oftentimes hold weekly adoption fairs uh, every weekend, so you can check out their website to see where they're gonna be. Or they have websites, um, there's, there's a national web search uh, you can check Pet Finder or Adopt-a-Pet and so you could pretty much search anywhere in the US and you can search by the type of breed, whether it's male or female, and the age, and if they get along with children or other cats or other dogs. Animal shelters are essentially the pound and so unfortunately they're not under the best conditions. Uh, they find uh, strays or they're owner surrenders, um, but with rescue groups, they will also accumulate dogs by owner surrender or if they find a stray, but sometimes they'll also go to the shelters and rescue the ones that are at risk of being put down and they'll take them in and they'll re rehabilitate them, they'll foster them so they get to know their behaviors and their personalities, they'll check to see whether they get along with other cats, dogs, or children. So. Uh, they get to know the dog a lot better than if you were going to get them at the shelter. So once you find a dog that you like at the shelter, you'll have to fill out an application and there's probably going to be some sort of waiting list because they want to see if the owner comes and claims the dog. So generally after a few weeks, the, the dog will be uh, up for adoption. With rescue groups, I think it's a little bit more selective of a process. So you do have to fill out an application. They ask you a little bit more specific questions. They will interview you in person and they'll even do a house check most of the time to make sure that your house is set up properly to allow for a dog. And they also want to make sure it's secure because a lot of recent adopted dogs tend to try to run away and so they want to make sure that that doesn't happen. So the cost to adopt a dog ranges anywhere from zero dollars to about to $50 to even $300. And if that sounds high, it's really not. The fee to adopt includes so much like vaccinations, um, microchipping, and uh, a vet exam. So all of those things you would have to pay for out of your own pocket in addition to purchasing the dogs. The main reason why the the rescue groups charge a little bit more is because they're taking the time to actually foster the dog. They'll take him in and clean him up, give him a nice scrub, get them checked out, and they'll get to know the dog and get to know their habits and behaviors. So you kind of know all this stuff up front, um, whereas if you were going to get a dog from a shelter, you wouldn't necessarily know all that. They wouldn't have that information available to you, and you would have to kind of learn that as you get to know the dog. Um, and if there's anything above 300, just start to be wary about whether this is a breeder or not, posing as a shelter or rescue group, that some 
can sometimes happen. Um, and at a lot of the times at adoption events and fairs, rescue groups will have uh, promotions and so they'll adopt dogs out for a little bit less of the cost and they'll give away a lot of freebies too, like pet food or some pet um, accessories and beds and leashes. An important thing to keep in mind too is if you plan on getting pet insurance for your dog, um, if you like to be safe like I do, just keep in mind that if you adopt a dog, you generally don't have any medical records for that dog, so you can't be denied anything like for any pre-existing conditions that may that they, they can't prove any pre-existing conditions. So, uh, but if there are medical records available, they will be checking those, but just something to keep in mind that if you plan to get it, you might wanna get it early on before all of these problems arise. There is a transition period for you as well as the dog. Uh, you, if you've never had a dog before, you'll have to get used to what it's like and the lifestyle changes that come with that um, and the commitment. So just really being mentally prepared for that. Do some research to, to know what goes into it before you decide to adopt. And while you're transitioning and adapting to the new lifestyle, you might want to seek some help from friends who own dogs or you might want to hire a trainer to just kind of get things in motion. Consistency is really important when you want to start training your dog on the rules of the house. So just be very consistent with every member of your household and the dog too will be in a new home and, and he might he or she might be very scared so just keep that in consideration take things slow have a lot of patience you guys are just gonna have to take some time to feel each other out Leroy took about a good year before we both adjusted to each other he was a little bit timid with people touching him um, and he was just used to a lot of care and and affection I think and so uh, he would snap sometimes but he's a lot better and he's used to me and he knows that I'm not gonna harm him so he just feels a lot more at home and he, and he actually now knows his name by sound so he will respond to his name when called. In the unfortunate event that your dog doesn't work out and you don't think it's the right fit um, don't just give the dog away or sell the dog. A lot of the time rescue groups will take the dog back happily um, and find them a better home. Uh, shelters will also have a return policy. You just check, I think it varies. But I would strongly suggest that you return the dog first before giving it away or selling it. Before you go out and try to find your perfect little purebred, you might want to consider adopting for all the reasons that I just said. And um, I hope that you've learned a lot. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you end up adopting a dog, I'd like to hear your story. So leave us a comment in the review section.